All right, the time has come. You guys ready for this? And welcome back to another episode of Will and Ben. What's up, guys? We're gonna jump right into it with a little DIY project. This is a, a gun, what would you call this? Gun mounting system? Gun wall. It's essentially a modular wall that you can mount and hang different things. Yep. So we're gonna go to our conference room. We're gonna show you all about it. And uh, we're gonna throw it up on the wall. Let's do it. Hopefully no blood. Maybe a little blood. We'll see. Why is there blood? To find out. I'm gonna cut myself, like oh, I always do. You just gotta screw, screw things in the walls. Don't stab yourself. All right, we'll see. Let's all right, go. let's go. And by the way, guys, this is a real vault door. This is the wall the system is going on. This is the system itself. So you can see, these are all steel plates. This specific system was designed specifically for this wall. It's so you'll see that, yeah, you're neatly built for that. These. Don't mind the echo, it's terrible. Yep. These are all the parts uh, for all the guns. I think we need to buy more guns now, Will. Yeah, 100%. But who, who makes this? We haven't even mentioned that yet. Galatech Technologies. Let's get to it. All right. Okay, I have everything laid out. So the most important part of this project, is, especially when you're doing a custom made uh, wall, you have to line everything up. So our wall, our system is specifically designed by seven by 14 feet. So this right here, this is the top rail. This is where all these panels get hung to. And you'll see that in a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna properly gap between this side and that side and make sure that when the system is on, it's level on both sides. And then I'm gonna make sure where height is gonna be level so it'll all look really smooth on the wall. Uh, so right now, I'm going to put the top rail up, level that up, and then the fun begins. See you later. So it's important that when you give the measurements for the wall to the company, you take into account your uh, wall. Base. Base. <laughs> yeah, so I want like a six inch base, and that really keeps that good. So thank God. <laughs> I knew that. See, I knew that was gonna happen, so everything planned out, we're good. Step one, install the top section. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm not perfect, no one is, but clearly I didn't measure in the right direction, so we took a little brief um, replay, and I had to change the system around. I went from that side instead of that side. So clearly the last piece I'm doing is going to be that piece right there. Uh, two more screws, one that's in. Then we're gonna figure out the layout of this actual panel system. So this is one of the panels, Ow, right here guys. Um, they come in all different sizes, but this, like we said before, is specifically designed to lay it on this wall. So you guys can see there's all different size panels. Anyhow, so there you go. That's what it looks like. They can't see that. No, really? Can't see that? We're gonna start with a 24 by 23 width panel. Right here. So you start with your first panel on what side? I don't know, to be honest. Over oh, there. That? Yeah, that's yep. it. Yep. And it just sits there? No way. That's it? That's it. And then you screw it into the wall here, right? Nope. Galatech supplies, so they supply all the hardware for the system itself. They do not supply the um, drywall screws or anchor screws that you want to use for whatever system you're going to mount it to. So they give you these. So we have a bag of self-tapping screws, and then we have a bag of just regular screws. I corrected well. Yeah, so we do actually screw these to the stud as you go down panels to panels. So. That top bar is not the only thing supporting all the weight. So, let's see what this looks like. Yep, do a flip through. Perfect. Okay, that is the first panel. <laughs> well, that looks, oh man. This thing is huge. Okay, next step is to put in what? The, are these the self-tapping screws? Or yeah. are these? That's what I went with. I'm not sure it's what you use, but well, maybe well, shouldn't we confirm? When you install this system, 
you have to make sure you leave at least a minimum of an inch gap between another wall. And the reason that is, because this is how this gets attached. So it slides into the opening gap and you shoot it to the right and that's what's gonna lock the system in place. So if you didn't have that one inch gap there, you wouldn't be able to manipulate and slide the panels left and right. You screwed yourself over pretty much again. Yes. So. Voila. Beautiful. And there it is. Just like that. We'll just continue doing that, right? Yep. Cool. Now this doesn't work because if I go from left to right, you won't be able to switch it in, so you have to go from that right side. to left. Right. So, right, you have to go we have to work your way this way because it slides in this way, so when you got to the end, you can't slide anything. So make sure you always work on, if you're facing your system, always work on the right-hand side first and work your way to the left. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so we're learning a lot of valuable lessons. Number one is uh, follow the instructions. Just follow the instructions. Hopefully this one is gonna be a little smoother than this last panel. So we noticed we had some issues with this wall. Um, it's not exactly level, it's not flat. And that was due to when we moved in. This was one of the existing walls that was here. So, you know, it happens. Gotta work with it. Modify it. Can you work? Over. Adapter. Yeah. And then you have panels like that. I, I, okay, the reason why I was saying you have to work from right to left is because, remember, if you have this system directly against this wall, oh my god, I scratched the wall really bad. That's okay. Good thing there's gonna be panels. Yeah. Right. I wouldn't have been able to slide it over like this. See, slide in, done. I mean, technically, we just stopped right there. That's that's a that's enough gun wall, I think. Yeah, but it's not it's not our style. I mean, bigger the better, always. Always. That's what she said. <laughs> Last piece. This is looking so awesome. Bam! Boom! There it is. Still got a screw. Oh yeah, we're not done. Still got a screw. And then the fun begins, right? What do we yeah. do after? Put all that on there. Say that one more time. <laughs> Put all this on there, but wait, there's more. Then go out there, grab a bunch of pew pews, and put them all over the wall. All right, the time has come. You guys ready for this? The new conference room. By the way, we could not have done this without Galatech. Thank you guys so much for sending us this wall. This is a really fun video to make. It was a lot of fun to install, really easy, couple little uh, tricks. But other than that, you know, this is the beginning. So what's key about this system, it's modular. So you can set it up any way you want. There's tons of different variations. So if you just wanna focus on one gun or knives or whatever you guys are into, whatever your hobby is and you wanna display something, these are great systems because you have shelves, you have little shelves. I mean, it, this isn't about guns. It's about any kind of man cave or even if you're a store and you wanna display awesome products, Galatech system is a really cool thing to check out. So we will link everything in the description. Go follow them, check them out, and uh, we will see you guys next time with better lighting. Because the lighting is so bad.